Due to the abundance of unexplainable ancient high technology and the advanced architectural abilities which we share found all over the world, in addition to the missing knowledge as to how these feats were once achieved, one must conclude that not only did the human species once experience a global catastrophe, but were also, seemingly, in global contact prior to said event. If this be the case, and the evidence we continue to present does indeed support such hypothesis, one would presume that we would see gaps in geological data, along with the forager paradox we recently shared in our Was Darwin Wrong special, which is the gap in population growth which one would expect to observe in the data to be present if our hypothesis be true. Intriguingly, it would seem that this gap has now also been discovered in the history of the human genome, and instead of being coined a paradox, they have instead been labeled a ghost population. According to the British media outlet The Guardian, quote, scientists have found evidence for a mysterious ghost population of ancient humans who lived about a half a million years ago and whose genes live on in people today. Traces of the unknown ancestor emerged when researchers analyzed genomes from West African populations. Up to a fifth of their DNA appeared to have come from the missing relatives. Geneticists suspect ancestors of interbred with the yet-to-be-discovered archaic humans tens of thousands of years ago, much as ancient Europeans once mated with Neanderthals." End quote. In other words, there are gaps in our genetic development which supports the past experience of catastrophe and explains the loss of ancient knowledge. It continues, quote, In the people we looked at, they all had ancestry from this unknown archaic population, said Sharam Sankara Raman, a computational biologist who led the research at the University of California in Los Angeles. Unlike today, the world was once home to many related species or subspecies of human, and when they stumbled upon one another, mating was not out of the question. As a result, modern Europeans carry a smattering of Neanderthal genes, while indigenous Australians, Polynesians, and Melanesians carry genes from Denisovans, another group of archaic humans. Previous studies have hinted that other ancient humans once roamed Earth, but without any fossils or DNA to pour over, researchers have struggled to learn more about them." End quote. We believe these fossils, if found, and they most probably have, due to them not fitting modern paradigm, would either unfortunately be misdated or simply vanish. Regardless, we find Sharam's compelling and reinforcing research of a now lost ghost civilization highly compelling. <laughs>